everyone thank you so much for joining me today today i've got another brand new release from raquel welch this is untold story in the color rl8 29 ss also known as shaded hazelnut when i saw the new releases from raquel welch i was so excited to receive them I purchased uh, Untold Story at Wig Studio One, and I will leave the link for you listed down below in the in the description box. And on the weekends, I don't know if you're aware, on Friday, I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you'll receive an extra 30% discount on Raquel Welch and a few other brands. There's no code that's needed. It's applied automatically. So I waited and I ordered mine and was able to get the 30% discount on it. I, when I saw these new Raquel Welch, I was so excited about On In 10 and about Untold Story. So let's check this one out together. And then I'll, do, I'll also do a short color comparison between Bronze Sable and Shaded Hazelnut if you're curious because the colors are very close. Sable Bronze Sable is RL628 and Shaded Hazelnut is RL829 SS. So we'll take a look and see what is the difference. In case one color isn't available and you want to maybe need another color. Alright, so come nicely wrapped. I am really hoping that this one will fit me. When I saw my friend, my friend Eileen of the Crazy Wig Lady, she did her review on Untold Story and she compared it to Upstage. I will leave the link to her video listed down below in case you want to see the difference and, and the similarities. I think they're very close. I, um, Upstage did not fit me at all. It, it just, it, it didn't fit me. Um. I'm hoping that Untold Story will fit me. I'm taking the hairnet off and I removed the tag. We have a full monofilament top and we have an ear to ear lace front, felt covered ear tabs. We have an extended nape and Velcro adjusters. On the cap, we have a hand tied cap on this part. On the top and then kind of in from the center down we have a weft we have wefts that are all that are covered with that um, it, it almost appears like a mesh I'm not sure why they do it this way but that's the way they do it I believe for, um, if I remember correctly from Eileen's video that um, upstage the cap is very similar to this. So once again, I hope that this will fit me. All right, let's take a look at the color. Shaded Hazelnut is one of my favorite colors in the brunettes in Raquel Welch. We have a medium brown, and then we have ginger highlights, and we have a dark brown root. Beautiful, beautiful color. And on the front, and you'll see it when I uh, when I apply it, we have those ginger blonde roots right at the front. Okay, this is untold. Uh, this is I'm sorry. This is on in ten in bronze sable. Now bronze sable is RL six twenty eight. If you are not familiar with the color codes, as the numbers get higher they get lighter. So on Bronze Sable, we have a base of six, while on Shaded Hazelnut, we have a base of eight. Bronze Sable is going to appear a little lighter because of all the highlights. We have highlights of a 28 which is very close to the highlights on Shaded Hazelnut. The other difference is that Shaded Hazelnut is going to appear a little darker because we have dark brown roots and we don't have those roots on Bronze Sable. But the colors are very similar. If you wear one one day and one another day, I don't think that there's much of a difference, honestly. You can really tell the difference when you 
uh, hold them close to each other. But it, while shaded hazelnut is in according to the code, it's going to be lighter because we have a base of eight, which is lighter than a base of six. And our highlights are a 29, which are lighter than a 28. It appears darker only because of the root. And you have more highlights on bronze sable than you do on shaded hazelnut. I hope that helps. I am so excited about it. I've seen it. I saw it on Taz and I saw it on Eileen and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to do anything to the adjusters because I don't know how this is going to fit. Now, granted, when I tried on uh, upstage, my hair was much longer. It was probably down to here and I had to wrap it up. I was probably wearing a wig grip. I was, so I'm going to try it without a wig grip. I'm going to try it without a, I don't wear a cap anymore because I don't have any hair to tuck under. Oh, this fits perfectly. I could probably cinch it in a little bit. Oh my gosh. Right out of the box. Spectacular. Yeah, I'll be keeping this one for sure. I'm going to add some water just to separate those fibers. All right, my face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters and my neck is five inches. And that way you can kind of gauge how Untold Story is going to appear on you. We have a bang of eight and a half and these, these bangs are beautiful swept off bangs, but you know, they are eight and a half inches. We have a crown of 10 and a half. The nape is five inches. The sides are seven inches and the back is nine inches. Untold Story weighs four ounces. I think it is beautiful. Just beautiful. I need one in every color. Okay, the lace front, absolutely gorgeous. And we have the beautiful fibers on this color in the, the ginger highlights on the front. Look at that. Despite my low hairline, it has great coverage. I do want to mention that I did cinch it in. Um, that's why you saw that separation in the video. I had to cinch it in in order to get a better fit because my lace front was lifting a little bit and I thought that it was because it was out too much. I could probably cinch it in a bit more. I don't think if you had any issues with upstage on it being um, snug on you, I don't think you'll have any problems with Untold Story. And here is the coverage on this side. Gorgeous, gorgeous coverage. I think this is one of the prettiest shorter styles that I have applied in a very long time, as um, and especially in the Raquel Welch line. I think it's just beautiful. I mean, I loved On and Ten, but this one is just spectacular. Beautiful, soft fibers. We don't have any permatease up on top. Well, we don't have any permatease at all because this is a hand tied cap. I think we have some at the nape, which has those wefts that are covered with the mesh material. So it does feel as if there's a little bit of um, permatease there. But in the rest of their wig, there's no permatease. As far as the density, this is a true average density. If you want to tuck it, the density is really not high. We can certainly tuck it. And if you want to add a wispy bang or something, you could, or a full bang, you can do that as well. 
All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see shaded hazelnut out in the daylight, and then I'll come back. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Please let me know what you think about Untold Story, about Raquel Welch's new releases. I would love to hear from you. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.